Hey guys, today I want to address some of the rumors surrounding Pacific Rim 2. Uh, because as we all know, recently Guillermo del Toro officially, we all knew the sequel was coming, but officially and now it was in the works, specifically as far as writing goes. And then at the same time, this happy news, we also got a bombshell that the movie's been delayed. Uh, I think it's, it's being pushed back to 2017. Uh, some people have gone as far to say it's been cancelled outright. When originally the movie, like I said, was going to have a 2016 release date, it's not been pushed back by a whole year. And most inf infamously, it's been pushed back supposedly for a Pitch Perfect 3, which is just a slight against all creation in my opinion. But you know what? I don't run the studio, so they, they I guess they do as they please. But like I said, uh, the movie is not cancelled. Let me reiterate, it is not cancelled. The official legendary calendar, the company who's been releasing the movie, says it's coming out August 4th, 2017. So, if it was to come out that year, I think that would be good, because we've got those coming out next year, 2016, then we have Pacific Rim 2 come out 2017, and then in 2018 we have the legendary Godzilla sequel, which would just be the one where just, holy, holy hell, it looks amazing. Well, sounds amazing anyways, but... Uh, in any case, <clears throat> the way, this film is very much alive, guys. It's definitely still going to happen, as far as I know. And then, I'm hearing rumors about uh, Maisie Williams of, you know, Arya Stark from Game of Thrones will supposedly be included in the movie, which is very interesting. Uh, I wonder what that bodes for the series. And also, Guillermo del Toro has made statements saying that they're going to do a lot of different things this time around, which, you know... It makes you curious as to what he could possibly mean. Uh, the only real statement he's given so far is saying it's going to be very different than the first movie, which was, you know, very 50 50 as far as people, whether they liked it or not. But uh, most notably, he said there's going to be a lot more daylight in the movie, which to me makes sense. It's something that he does with a lot of his sequels. Well, basically, the only sequel he did was a Hellboy 2, but, well, I mean, for him to direct head because he did Blade 2, but let me be specific. Uh, to me, it's very similar to what he did with the Hellboy series. The first Hellboy was uh, a very dark movie, not necessarily in dark in its plot and you know, and everything else in characters, but simply in the way it was cinematographically you know shot. Uh, very dark settings most of the time, even amongst our heroes, especially amongst your villains. And then again, I mean, Hellboy Two was. Uh, Definitely more fantasy oriented, directly, as Guillermo del Toro himself said, less gothic looking, and just more general fantasy, you know, a lot more bright colors, which, you know, really helped the film out. And I love Hellboy 1 and 2 equally. I give them both 10 out of 10 stars to me, they're great, but it's good to see there's such a contrast. I mean, you know, he's willing to change styles if need be, or just experiment with new things. And as he's saying, Pacific Rim 2. We'll have a lot more daylight, and will be less of the gothic tech, so not as much rain and gloom. Which is true, I don't think we ever saw the Jaegers fighting, you know, without it being somewhere dark, like, you know, the abyss of the ocean, or in the rain, rainy city. Which to me were great things regardless. However, it's good to know that he's willing to take it in a whole other direction. So, still don't have any too, anything too Pacific, although... The working title, as far as I'm hearing, is Pacific Brim Maelstrom, which is a pretty interesting title. I like that. So that's all I have for Pacific Rim 2, guys. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. Give Toro, don't fail us now, man. You Please give us this kaiju movie. And uh, on a side note, Crimson Peak is coming out Friday, October 16th. Uh, let's go see it, guys, because it's going to be awesome.